this article is talking about someone can be your person like the definition of a soulmate doesn't have to be one stagnant person it's the person that is serving that role i know that i can do better but i'm like i don't want better like monogamy where you're like i don't want anyone else Mm -hmm. to have this person and it's like i feel that but i also don't want anyone else to have me like i don't want him to fuck some random girl i want him to fuck me Part of an adult relationship is that you're growing. Like you're both making, you're both making changes to make the relationship work. Time doesn't mean anything. Jack and I dated for three years and I never felt the way I did with Javid. I want to FaceTime Javid any day I'm not with him. But I've had this effect on like, on like a lot of guys, but most of the time it's very short lived. I want to tell him like the dumbest shit about my day every day. Okay, I'm really into being degraded, like, a lot. And I sat down next to him, and he, like, you know, like, wrapped his arms around me, and I was just, like, crying. And he was like, you know you're safe. You're okay. You are nothing without my cock inside you. You're the only person that it's ever made me feel this, feel safe. Spit on me. And he was like, well, you're not wearing them right. You need to take one strap down. And I was like, what's it matter? You're about to break up with me anyway. As much as I'm like, I saw this coming, I'm like, I feel blindsided. I've never been dumped. I crave his presence. I want him to think I hate him. Does he not realize that this was going to hurt me like this? Does he not care? Like, maybe he wasn't scared of the intimacy and he just didn't want me. What if he's talking to other girls? Like, I know I can't stop him. I'm only wearing this dress because he didn't like it when I wore it. The most pathetic thing I've ever done. I don't want contact with him. This is like almost the worst part to me is that I begged him not to. I don't know, and then he would, he started talking that, like, we were gonna spend the rest of our lives together, so I kind of started, like, putting that idea in my head. Part of me still does believe it. What did you sign up for if it wasn't for it to be real? How to reconcile my previous beliefs about him with this very matter-of-fact thing that he hurt me. And I mean, like, I guess there can be no good reason. Which doesn't bother me. Like, I'm totally okay with being an emotional person. I think there's a lot of beauty in that. (laughs) He's supposed to be my person. (laughs) And it's just so fucking funny that he's not. (laughs) You know who's a better person?